it looks like he does like lighting, engineering stuff, production stuff, sound stuff, mixing, setup for that stuff. Anything else? <laughs> That's, I don't know. He's a pastor. <laughs> he's a pastor. He pastors, he's a he shepherd. <laughs> well, I think he's the, the secret media guy that works in the back, you know. I don't know what he does, but I know he does something for the church and serves God, but I don't know what. Pastor John does everything. If there's a problem, we call him. Amen. Um, he tows your car if you leave it in the parking lot and don't tell him. What does PT do? Pastor Tom does anything I think legal related for the church. Um, yeah, contracts. He just works with contracts, ads. That's all I know. <laughs> what does Pastor Tom do? Pastor Tom is like the MacGyver. Some of you don't know who MacGyver was, but he was the guy that did everything using very little. He was the jack of all trades. Pastor Tom is the jack of all trades, period. He's Mr. Fix-It. Hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't know, bro. He does everything, that's it, just everything. He's the pastor, of course, and he's, I've known him for over 20 years. And I, I have a special name for him, though. I call him Tom Bien. And I know I'm, I don't speak Spanish, but I know Tom is his name, and he's Bien, he's good. So <laughs> I call him Tom Bien. So that's a little thing we do. So, but he's a great guy. He's, he's, always, he's always been there for me. Uh, when I was struggling with a family issue, uh, Pastor Tom and Libby were able to come beside me, pray with me, support me, and help me through that issue. And for that, I'll always be grateful. One thing that encourages me about Pastor Tom is his simple demeanor. The embrace that he has when you walk up, the joy that he does everything with, the smile that's always present. It's evidence of the spirit that lives within, right? I, uh, I definitely want to be like Pete Tom when I grow up. Pastor Tom just has a way of walking in the room and technology works. No matter how frustrated you are with a piece that isn't working for you, you just call on his name or his walks by and his shadow falls on the piece of technology, it just magically starts working. He uses all of his gifts God has given him, and there are many. He doesn't hold back, he freely gives them, especially here at Belmont. This result has made us as a church better, safer, stronger, and we are running a greater organization because of Pastor Tom. Pastor Tom, like I said, you're a genius when it comes to technology and amongst a million other things, you just have a way of knowing how to do things. And if you don't know how to do things, you find a way. Um, so <laughs> I've just been in awe of you so many times in our years together serving uh, with each other and obviously me being employed here and working alongside you. Um, very highly impressed. Um, I will say I was Pastor Joey's right hand man one time and I'm coming for your job so I can be his right hand man again. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have the great honor of acknowledging our Pastor Tom and his 25 years of service to Belmont Assembly of God. P. Tom, our associate pastor, has been instrumental in so many areas of our church. He's the genius engineer behind all of our audio, our visual, our lighting equipment, our service broadcast, the internet, in all of our buildings. During COVID, Pete Tom provided all the documentation that was needed over a couple years and secured the financial assistance the government was providing to us. That really helped get us through a tough period. He administers the church insurance needs for the staff and the properties. He handles providing the government agencies with the documentation and inspections needed to keep the church in compliance with all the various requirements that they have, like the fire marshal and the HVAC department at the city for the yearly inspections of our rooftop units. He oversees all of the campus construction renovations, the maintenance, the upkeep. It's continually needed and so many times it just goes unnoticed. That along with leading the man's and the ushers and greeters ministries, I've had the great pleasure of working closely with P. Tom as he's led the transformation of our entire campus one space at a time. And one personal memory I'd like to share is related to the Compass Kids building. We had many obstacles in the design and the permits and the construction, then with the powers that be. We ran into a pretty serious roadblock back at the city. We were facing a giant that was threatening and opposing what God had planned and purpose for his house. But little did they know, we had a giant on our side as well. P. 
Pete Tom led the charge first meeting with that giant, then drafting a letter to senior levels of city leadership above that giant, and then finally several years later, in March of this year, we had our final inspection with that giant's very department, and I'm so happy to say we have the final certificate of occupancy posted in the Compass Kids entry right now. Given so many talents, he's applied them all for the benefit of the Belmont family and the kingdom. 1 Thessalonians 5, 12 and 13, Paul exhorts the Thessalonian church to be submissive and appreciative of their leaders. I'm in complete agreement and I'd like the church and everyone watching to join me in saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pastor Tom. Well done, Papa, well done.